Hi, P.O.E. I'm here with Neil from Crest Train. Neil. I'm going to look at you on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> all the great stuff we've got here at UCX, mate. It doesn't matter. Neil, tell me a bit more about what your role is within Crest Train, because I see you at all the shows. <laughs> You do some fantastic interviews, but more importantly, you've got some great knowledge that you can help share with, you know, consultants, system integrators, and they're able to kind of articulate the more technical stuff in more layman's terms that you know normal SIs and, and consultants can understand. Tell me about your role within Crestron. Well, the check's in the post for that okay, beautiful okay. introduction, <laughs> so thank you. Uh, so I'm Director of Technical Marketing for Crestron Globally. Uh, I look after our UC portfolio and our main AV portfolio. But really, I see myself as the, the kind of bridge or the gateway between engineering and product management and our customers and reseller and the, the field uh, out, out there selling our, our products. Yeah. So really, I'm, I'm taking feedback from our customers and partners about the problems they have, the challenges they have, what they need, what the competitors can't deliver, feeding that back into product management, and also feeding out our roadmap and what we're looking at and saying, hey, we've got this great idea to do this new product. And they go, well, you're bonkers. No one's going to buy that. <laughs> oh, yes, I want that. Bring it out now. Right. So it's accelerating, de-accelerating programs internally. Right. And then the way I look at it, I, I started in lockdown pre Crestron, a previous role I had, was how do I get the message out to the SIs, the partners and the customers? And we used to go to like Marriott's and do presentations and PowerPoints. And then in lockdown, it was like, well, what do we do with it? We go out with social, we go out with live stream, we go out with, you know, doing video and content. So really I kind of honed my my skills yeah. of doing that through lockdown and just going out there and talking about the product and creating content that people want to watch. I, I, I love it because it's very natural. And I, I don't like it when you see these presentations that are just like, oh God, you know, it's like, and you know, it's the whole part of it is being natural and speaking, you know, in, well, We haven't prepped, we, there's no scripts here, we haven't prepped, we're just doing it. You know, and being passionate about what you do. Now tell me about the UC line, because you guys have always been there or thereabouts, but actually you've, what, one thing that I really like now is this whole, thing of collaboration where you're allowing other vendors or, or partnering with other vendors to utilize parts you know let's say they want to use your control system but they want to use another you know end product from someone else you're doing these collaboration pieces tell me a bit more about that it's a really good point actually we launched it at infocom this year the ability for us to be able to control a neat bar a logi rally um so that you can get that page flip so you can be in your mtr team stream interface on your uh, your logitech tap system but you can then flip the page and then have the blinds the lights and all of that av control with Crestron but all through that same UI interface traditionally that's been unique to a, a Crestron uh, team's room system but now we've broken that out to the other vendors so that gives us the opportunity and the SIs and the partners an opportunity to be able to go and upsell and sell a control system to the customers to control the rest of their room no one wants to have a controller for teams and then a controller for the rest of the room one pane of glass does everything and again Crestron's being synonymous for that control and management interface so we can allow the other vendors to do that in addition to that now we're selling our camera systems so our multi-camera system is now team certified and zoom certified so the ability to be in that team certified club to have that that stamp of approval means that you have to work with any other MTR in addition to that we've obviously got air media which is our wireless conferencing works with Bolly, works with Logi, works with Jabra works with all the vendors wirelessly enables those BYOD bars and then in the uh, audio space, we've got our FlexPods, wireless audio. Again, if you've got an existing video bar, all your audio is on the front wall. When you get to the back of the table, your microphone's 10, 15, 20 feet away. You can bring the audio with FlexPods, wireless pods, connect them up to your Teams room system or Zoom room system to bring the audio out through. So bringing our products to the rest of the UC field, either as a net new sale or as an add-on to upsell and to improve and enhance a customer's experience. Again, solving those problems the customers have. How do I wirelessly connect my laptops if I don't have a USB and an HDMI and all that kind of stuff? How do I get better audio if the audio is at the front of the room? Solving those problems for those customers. Yeah. And, and the other thing that I'm seeing a lot more is the use of DC power, where um, people like uh, Cisco are really looking um, holistically about employing sensors, employing everything using the essentially PoE, DC power. Um, to be able to do that. And so many of these, um, you know, sets that I see, you, you know, they've implemented PoE in there, making the installation so much quicker, reducing the overall energy use, you know, both the installation time and the overall cost of ownership, bringing, you know, lowering that. 
Yeah, power is a really, uh, really interesting. So all of our cameras now are PoE, yeah. uh, and it makes deployment so easy because they're IP enabled as well with NDI and IP. So literally, to throw that camera on a wall, you can see there's one Ethernet connection on the back of that. So if you want to go stick that on a meeting room, you haven't got to run an HDMI with cable limitations. USB three, three meter cable limitations. You've got to dig a hole, trench it out. You just run a PoE connection and run the camera. The other interesting thing is around USB now, PD and QC. So the ability to deliver a single USB cable to the table with our uh, DM Essentials that can provide your audio in, audio out, your video in, video out, and power to charge your laptop. Again, friction from a user has always been a challenge. I've got to plug all these cables in, the connectors break, you know, they nick the cables. So that single USB C gives us that near nirvana of actually just having that one cable, one stop shop, plug it in. Your laptop presents to the Teams Room system, your content is then presented, and you can charge your laptop so you don't have to bring your charger, your laptop. One cable does it all. So power is really becoming, you know, a really important thing. One day we'll have wireless power. Uh, we've got it for our phones. One day we'll have it for laptops and cameras and all the rest of it. But until then, PoE and PoE Plus on the cameras, and then the ability to charge laptops in the UC space is really important with uh, PD power delivery over USB as well. Finally, one last question. Can I ask, and be so cheeky as to ask, what's on the roadmap in oh, terms of UC? Come on. Well, here's, here's a hint, actually. So in two weeks' time, depending on when you're watching this, uh, we're launching a new uh, AV over IP product. So very exciting about that. So check, I'll be going live. So okay. watch my channel, subscribe to me, uh, and to Crestron, obviously. <laughs> um, what else we got? The, uh, the Video Bar 70 is now team certified. Loads of great updates coming for that. And then the multi-camera solution, just loads of... If, uh, if we didn't say AI in this presentation, <laughs> we'd be doing something wrong. So loads of stuff happening around our AI uh, in our cameras as well so again watch that space in there so where would people go to find out more information about you and Crestron well you'd go and find me on LinkedIn on Neil Fluister but uh, Crestron.com would be a good place to go uh, and again I make a nuisance of myself on LinkedIn and social media so come and follow me uh, and my uh, great content on there brilliant thank you Neil